Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Bailey and I am from the site Plagiarism Today, which can be found at PlagiarismToday.com. And today I want to talk a little bit about Mr. Shepard Ferry. This case to us copyright guys has been very, very frustrating, very annoying. See, to kind of recap this, Shepard Ferry is the artist behind the Obama Hope poster. You can kind of see it, you know, right over... I'm new to this, okay? I don't know where this crap's popping up at. But he created the Obama Hope poster, which if you'll recall back in the 2008 election was a huge deal. It was all over the place, extremely popular, helped the campaign immensely, kind of became an unofficial poster of the campaign. Well, it turned out that he had based the poster on a photograph uh, taken by an AP photographer named Manny Garcia. And the AP, um, after some legal back and forth, uh, Shepard Ferry sued the Associated Press, and the Associated Press uh, sued back, kind of countersued, over this, over the use of that image. Well, the whole case got very, very heated and very, very interesting. But then it took a very bizarre and unfortunate turn, as it was determined that Shepard Ferry had actually lied in the case. He had lied, he had, A, destroyed some evidence, but also, and more importantly, lied about which photograph the poster was based on, trying to say it was based upon one where the, Obama's face was a smaller portion of the photo, kind of boosting his chances of a fair use ruling. Uh, the court didn't take kindly. This neither did his attorneys. His attorneys dropped him like a bad habit, and the court immediately um, took actions and sanctions against him. It greatly complicated this case, and he ended up facing a charge of criminal contempt of court, a charge which this weekend he pled guilty to, and, and it carries up to six months in prison, though Mr. Ferry, um, it's unclear if he's actually going to face any jail time, but the prosecutors are seeking some, but not likely the full six months. Well, the case is frustrating because it was a very interesting fair use ruling. It had two very passionate people in it, and it seemed like this case was going to be one that we were actually going to get a ruling on. And you know, there's something that us copyright guys live and breathe for, it is precedent. We want rulings. We want court rulings. And fair use is an area where we need it especially. And it's triply true in the age of the internet. Because right now, with all these remixes and mashups and variations of a theme, we don't have a lot of really good precedent to know how far you can go in certain areas. And the, this, this case in particular had a lot of the hallmarks of what we would think of as a mashup fair use case. So there was a lot of hope that you, me, and everyone else would actually see a solid ruling from a court, and we would get some very clear guidance so that future artists like Ferry that wanted to mash up and remix existing works would have good guidelines, but unfortunately it didn't happen. Um, the civil element of the case, the actual lawsuit parts, were settled out of court, largely undisclosed terms. We'll never know what was decided, but it seems very likely that you know, Ferry's misconduct in this case prompted him to sue, because previously he was all about seeing this one through. But not too long after um, that whole ordeal came out, obviously this case became way too complicated to litigate. He had a lot of strikes against him, and it really hurt his case and his ability to get a clear, unbiased ruling. So, Ferry blew this one. And I've got to say, I'm feeling absolutely zero sympathy. He's not going, not possibly or likely going to jail for his copyright infringement. He's a lead cop, alleged copyright infringement. We don't know if it actually was a copyright infringement. He's not going to jail for that if he does. He's going to jail because he lied, falsified evidence. And frankly, if that happens, I'm not going to have any sympathy for Mr. Ferry. It's unfortunately kind of the consequence of your actions whenever you falsify evidence in this manner. So I don't like seeing people go to jail in general, but this is one time where, unfortunately, he, he did it to himself. There's just no nice way to say it. He did something very stupid very, and probably very unnecessary, and as a result, there are going to be consequences, and I hope a lesson is learned from this. Um, there is no point in falsifying this kind of evidence in a, in a copyright case, or any case for that matter, and, you know, Ferry... We had high hopes for you. I really <clears throat> wanted to support you. I really wanted to get behind you because I thought this case really could, like I said, be a hallmark case for remixers and for cases where most likely the uh, infringement is not hurting the original content creator. But didn't happen. Fairy blew it. And here we are with him going to jail over contempt of court. Sad ending to a very potentially interesting case. Well, 
on that note, everyone, thank you very much for watching. Once again, my name is Jonathan Bailey, and I am signing off.